coming. Oh no, actually it's Gidos. Yeah, it's that's yeah, the it's already out. previous one. All right, so. Hello. Hey, Welcome we to 43 Degrees Podcast. <laughs> The first ever, ever, ever episode. Are you excited, Wenda? I am. Look Check the face. screen that I've just made for a special episode. Yeah, it looks good. Thanks I've seen before. I've you seen his eye have to before. go full on, you know. Um, yeah, so this is 43 Degrees Cast, which is going to be our podcast. I don't know how often it's going to be. Depen- depending on the, how many how many parties you're going to attend. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Weekly, monthly, <laughs> fortnightly. Yeah. Well, we we'll see how it goes. But we'll actually, goes, the intention yeah. is good, you know, just to talk a little bit of you know, exactly. music and um, information, um, content. It's just like, you know, positive stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Everything about the music industry, everything exactly. about 43 degrees, the environment. Um, we'll try to bring as much value as we can. Because nobody wants a boring podcast, you know? You're right. You're right. All right. So let's just start with um, why 43 degrees actually is a question. Oh, that's a question for you. I know, I know. Everyone asks, but I want to actually now ask you because everyone asks me, but I want to see your perspective. Well, I have little to do with his name. Yeah. It was mostly Wendell because actually he was just just browsing around your phone. And he saw, he was looking for a name. Wendell checked his phone and it was a screenshot of a very hot day that was 43 degrees on the weather forecast. And he screenshot and he yeah. searched on Google. Yeah. That's right. It wasn't just a test. If that was you nothing. still remember why. Of no. course I remember, <laughs> mate. It's my company. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. That was actually what happened when we decided to to have the name the 43 degrees exactly and um that's it and it's then a hot we decided, day. yeah 43 degrees hot is day. fucking hot mate yeah it's really hot and house I, music um hot records hot records yeah hot yeah. stuff hot we stuff. do hot stuff yeah um by the way whenever you guys have any comments this is a brand new experience for us exactly yeah. um we keen for feedback and we want to improve right um so when the what are you expecting from this podcast well it's just the very very first one you know so we just um gonna be a little bit random sometimes so just do i think just to, to we get used to it um but being real i think we can add a lot of value especially because because there's nothing you know in sydney or even in australia that i have a reference in terms yeah. of music and podcasts it's just there's nothing. So actually, it's good, you know, for us just to share what we know and bring new people here to talk about their own experiences yeah. and uh, share their, you know, um, their values. So I think it's a win-win for everyone. And then people are sometimes bored at home and just want to watch something exactly. cool and different related to music, mostly, of course, because yeah. um, we're here. So Yeah. And also, we are going to be um, across multiple platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple. Yeah, we'll yeah. try to be Everywhere. as present as we can. Anchor as well. Um, obviously, we're going to improve over the episodes because we're going to search for new technologies and stuff. Yeah. Um, but by the way, shout out to Dice and Kieran for Correct. helping us to provide um, this studio and uh, renting it for us. Really cool studio and nice TV, nice equipment and stuff. So, very so we can experiment the very first one. Yes, that that's how you start, you know, full on. That's full what on. that's what we are about. Yeah, man. Right. Like even if you're doing mistakes, I don't care because that's how we start the label, right? Exactly. <laughs> doing we a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I'm not saying it was actually bad music. It was good music, but it was just. Mistakes in terms of like operation and like logistics, and oh, we had no it. idea what we we're doing before with the label, yeah. which like was sec- uh, 2016. 2016, yeah. Four years. Four years. Yeah. It's not long, like four years. Wow, but it was actually a, you know, a, a rough. Bro, journey. knee deep is like less than five years old. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah. pre- I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, I think it's like six years. Um, six years. Yeah. 2014. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like pretty new as well you know which is so like our knee deep in sound is our you know yeah. main reference because it's just about taste and also yeah. 
and on the artists they release and also we like hot since it's too big shout to daily big shout um <laughs> exactly um we get just good fans you know big, yeah big fans of the label and um the music so that's why we mentioned it deep in sound um yeah so here we are at the commons podcast studio um and uh we will be talking about a bunch of different subjects be interviewing people um if you are someone from the industry and you want to be involved send us a message we would like to to bring all experience from different people from everyone so um yeah i think i think it's going to be a good journey um a lot of people i posted a, a little preview with fede i don't know if you guys saw this yeah it was pretty funny it was the pretty sh- test um of the studio and people really got um excited about it yeah curious too so because it's something that i i don't see anyone doing in like a long duration podcast specifically about electronic music and uh, like i mean big guys do it like yeah. i i think hardware's labels do it's more do the EDM one. guys yeah, yeah. but you it's like, like you're representing the no underground no one in sydney is doing that's what is, i there's mean, yeah there's no more sp- no much spotlight it's yeah. just i can't see any good good reference so we, here we are so let's try to do something and now it's the yeah. first one let's talk about a, a little bit of everything yeah and i just wrote down a little thing few things here so oh can yeah we need I, we need i can get myself guide you know we need for, to cheat a little for bit, something yeah. which yeah. is normal right but i just wrote down here like sydney you know which means our favorite city in the world oh. for the moment we have many yes but we're living here so we love sydney yeah and I love Sydney, man. Why, um, why Sydney around it for you? I have my own reasons for Sydney in terms of I'm talking about music right now. Okay. Not like personal experience yeah. because Australia is yeah. amazing, but I'm saying in terms of music. Oh man, in terms of music, I've been. I mean, I started in the music business in Sydney, so I don't really have the Europe um, experience. Po- experience, yeah. yeah. So I just I just started in here and I I love it. I know there's a few flaws comparing to like Ibiza and like big cultural yeah. electronic music sp- uh, spots, but I love it, man. I'm used to I'm used to the way things operate in here already. I love I love the venues, I love the people. Um I love the way people interact with the DJs as well, like with the sets, with the tunes. Yeah. Um it's pretty good and yeah I, I don't really have much global experience on the music industry so yet yeah you, yet you, you, you yeah. because you, your background is more design yeah i mean i wasn't much into into electronic music like seven years ago so i, I used to just work on my design stuff and, and listen to jazz and music listen to jazz and blues know. and stuff yeah i love a good jazz yeah. man <laughs> it's good music like it's com- yeah. complex is structural music you know like oh 100 is it's just like oh it's my favorite amazing man. i love i love it too because yeah. it, 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 it gets your brain working in, yeah in terms of like music you know yeah. it's not like it's simple to understand i was kind of uh, raised with my auntie auntie chia mariuda she love you so <laughs> i was in brazil now with his family and she's just fucking the best yeah she yeah. used to just teach me a bunch of jazz yeah, stuff so give funny. me cds and stuff so like yeah I, I i grew up with a good jazz influence. how old is she now she's just i don't know like 80 something yeah 80 but she looks like fucking 60s yeah and, uh, <laughs> and she drinks a lot you know and um gets so funny and she gets funny yeah. like, I mean, in uh, a good way like family is everything man so i think uh now that we touch base but before we go further maybe we should just introduce ourselves for people who don't know 43 degrees yeah you're right you're right you're right we talked about the name but we didn't talk yeah. about the business so cool yeah, you're what right. is 43 degrees records in 43 group if you may well, well the thing is like um i arrived in australia 2012 i was djing and then i had a dream to have a record label I don't know why, just because I feel like having a record label. I, I was curious to understand how it worked yeah. to be on Beatport and this kind of stuff. I wasn't producing much either. But then um, 
I had this in my mind all the time. So he just, I just had this goal to have a record label. So and then we met, and um, yeah. and you came with all this background of design, and then I had the music as my background. So actually, that's when we fused the both ideas, and then it worked it out. Um, me as a DJ, and you as a designer. That's the first, you know, first story. Yeah, and then first part of, it, first part of the story, but How then we. Can. We started growing the label and getting more networking. I was getting more gigs in Australia. Um, and, you know, the profile was getting a bit more, well, I can't say bigger, but with more recognition, yeah. I can tell, because yeah. more exposure, yeah. also the label. And um, and then we start getting more, you start getting more jobs in terms oh, of yes. like designs, because people yeah. see more your creative part in terms of, yeah. um, you know, and social media, on social media specifically. So yeah. and then you had the idea to open a little bit the wings. So we had the 43 degrees records and then we had the idea to have the 43 creative, which is just Studio, yeah. you in, yeah. in designs and stuff, which is kind of separate, but yeah. together at the same time. Yeah. And doing events as well here and there. But that's us, you know, like we have different... Um, Groups, no, no groups. We have one group of different com companies yeah. that do similar but different stuff, and yeah. all gets related to each other. But the mainly is the music and the you know the design, the create the creative video and photo side branding, branding it, part yeah. of it. And um, in events we do as well because we we have now the agency, which yeah. we launched last year. Yeah. And for the moment, we have only two artists. I mean, three artists, yeah, including three myself, artists. but two artists that we look after, which so is... So you, you, for those who don't know it, Houghton. That's me, yeah. Yeah, nice this me. is Houghton, guys. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to put... How do you say that? I'll put a link. On the I'll put a link <laughs> below. <laughs> just follow me. Yeah. I'm just copying the big guys that yeah. do the podcast. <laughs> uh, whatever. That's how it works. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, um, yeah. We're going to learn. Um, um, yeah, so it's uh, Houghton... Nine One and Dean Zlato, yeah. the boys. Um, and it's good because one thing that I like is the variety of style that you guys right. have. So it's not, we are not like a one genre agency or record label. Which we can, kind yeah. of, we have our limits, you know, we don't go too much to this side or too much to that side, but it's pretty. Diverse. Yeah, it's pretty in, diverse, in, exactly. In, yeah. In the agency. Yeah. So like you play you like to play more house, groovy, yeah. underground house, deeper melodic, groggy, deeper. Yeah. yeah. And Davi, Dean, yeah, yeah. Dean plays Dean's the techno hammer of the label of the <laughs> agency. Yeah, he likes, he likes more the, fast yeah, beats. Fast techno, raw yeah. techno and stuff. And Davi is more like the Afro house kind of vibe that is coming yeah, now. Progressive, is, melodic, techno, yeah. yeah. He's been playing a lot of uh, melodic techno too, like some yeah. some harder stuff on his latest sets. I've been I've Watching. been enjoying uh, and yeah. following this um, evolution for both of the guys uh, yeah. also. So that's um, it. That's uh, that's us, right? That's so us, Ryan yeah. and whole team behind Forty Three Degrees yeah. Records, Forty Three Degrees Agency, and Forty Three Creative. Creative. Yeah. Um, trying to put our heads, our creativity, you know, to you know, <laughs> the world. Or yeah, or put everything out, or, or at least in Sydney. <laughs> yeah, but because we, but that's the thing. Like one thing relates to the other thing, so we can get more connections across the globe, which is great. Yeah, you know, signing records in Brazil, in England, in fucking everywhere in the globe, yeah. and um, it gets all connected. That's that's actually what we actually like. In, you know, to get connected with most creative stuff yeah so that's us guys and it's good because man uh, this um i reckon this is what we do is something that it's fully remote so we don't need us yes a physical space uh having a record label it's everything is digital unless you want to do of course vinyl and stuff but it's not the case for us at the moment but it's all digital so we we get tracks from all across the world we do uh we also have some local ones local here local there doing some remixes some releases and i guess that's the beauty of it even for my experience as a designer uh and creative it's it's good as well because i c i've been doing jobs 
uh, in the beginning of our journey for uh, some agencies back in UK, yeah, for exactly. BPA, for a bunch, of, yeah, a bunch of different jobs for big artists that I wouldn't be able to reach them. I remember if the first one was Jay Lumen. Jay Lumen, yeah, I did a from BPM. Yeah, BPA. Yeah. BPA. Yeah. BPA. Correct. From UK. Okay. Uh I did also like a DJ Emerson one, uh DJ Worthy. Which is like uh, assets, like social media assets you, you made for that? Yeah, yeah. I was doing yeah, like, like basically like the tour guide uh, like in a beautiful way instead of just a list. So they would send uh, e email newsletters with the guys with like good pictures and some links to videos and recent uh, big supports like Cal Cox playing the tracks yeah, and stuff. Like a newsletter kind of newsletter, stuff. Newsletter, well. yeah. And with the gig guide. So yeah. that was a good experience and it got me like some good eyes. People enjoyed it and like Connection. started hire, Connection. hire me. Yeah. Connections. Yeah. Because you had a, you, you did a good job. Exactly. And that's, that's a, I think that's the good part of, uh, of us that we have like a bit a bit of everything in between like we have the record label so we want to sign an artist we just put it out um, if the track is good we just put the track there yeah cuz that's the thing like we were thinking a lot about genres yeah in one period of time yeah but now it's just like so like kind of same same in every genre like progressive or techno yeah. or house or deep house whatever it's whatever stuff to be honest any yeah. genre it gets so rip, you know floated with so many tracks that is actually not good so now yeah. we just don't even look about it anymore we just yeah. think about the music you have a itself. good track a fucking yeah. good track just say yeah just like this one that is playing on the background is by Kron. it's a bit yeah. different style it's a call three thousand years on pre-order already on beatport coming out soon by Kron. Came, came out today came out today on, pre on yeah, pre-order pre yeah Kron yeah. big show in port he's in big portugal show, yeah. now Portuguese and guy, lovely, lovely, lovely person. A family guy. That's family he, guy. That's yeah, why he wrote on his um, bio. On his bio, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a family guy. I was nice. like, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This track also that's comes funny. with a remix from Somersault. Really nice guy, yeah. Jim, from uh, Melbourne. He's been there forever. Forever, He's yeah. A great producer. He's doing some great tunes. Great I tunes. love his work. Yeah. More minimal style. Um, really nice. Groovy as fuck. Groovy, yeah. yeah. Somersault. Um, Funny name too. Why Somersault? We're gonna Summer ask you. Yeah. yeah. Why Somersault? In Brazil, this is called really Cambalhota. <laughs> <laughs> because he's a really tall guy. Yeah. I can't imagine him doing Somersault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. That's that's yeah, a question we a could question. ask him. Yeah. And do maybe a podcast. Or with maybe him. that's yeah. why he's called Somersault. Because he's too so, too you, tall and he you, can't do the, yeah, the Somersault. Exactly. <laughs> You're just guessing. You maybe. tell me later. You tell us in the comments, mate. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyway, this EP is a bit different. Yeah, we got. I'll put the other tracks from. We got people well. that actually loved it, and got people like, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not really. But then, fun, fucking yeah. hell, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna please <laughs> everyone. Everyone is exactly. yeah. Otherwise, it would be like, I don't know. Not even Jesus did it. Yeah. <laughs> got polemic. I'm being polemic. Comes also with this nice um, melodic vocal tune, which I love. This one. Maybe not for playing on a gig, but yeah. I reckon like for listening on uh, Spotify or something. Look, if I have an eight-hour set in my style, you obviously I'm gonna definitely play gonna play yeah. this kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, at least in the beginning, first two hours, whatever, because we need we need tunes for every single like moment. Exactly. Every tune has its own moment, I think, in exactly. its own venue or energy, or yeah. every tune has its own place. And especially for long hour sets, um, you have to build a journey you can just play look yeah bangers and that's the culture of the set, dj yeah. to be honest in back in the 90s 80s whatever like yeah. lauren garnier he was playing for 20 hours yeah. 15 hours in france and yeah and people don't people now that just came out they start djing they don't know that they just yeah. think oh, i'll play techno i'm just yeah. gonna play two hours of techno but they don't know there is different kind of music yeah like i get the example of lauren garnier because he's like a pro yeah. he's been there forever too yeah but then he was playing jazz even and reggae music Music. He was playing everything. Yeah, because yeah. I saw a set from him, like reggae set, really good. As it's well. just yeah. like crazy. People say, "Oh, I can't do that," because otherwise, people you're probably gonna judge my style. Yeah. But back in the day, it was completely the other way around. You're good yeah. if you can play anything. Anything. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. that well, that's, that's probably good, just yeah. my opinion. But maybe most yeah. of. Yeah. You have a couple long hour sets coming up. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I have. I can't, can't, I can't say now. Yeah. Where is it? Secret. It's, a secret. Uh, okay, cool. it's, com- it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Um, we have a few projects coming up on 43. We have a uh, few gigs. Oh, by the way, we also just announced uh, this week. I mean, last week, if depends on where you, what time you're watching this yeah. or well. hearing. But we just announced our first gig of the year, for 43 Correct. degrees, which is going to be... 4th of July at the Civic uh, with uh, Houghton, 9-1, Dean Zlato, of course, the boys, and also... From the agency, yeah. And also Zanki Gulati and Fede Batista, two of my definitely favorite Yeah, Zanki's doing a great job in Sydney. He's yeah. as a promoter, and a, well, as a DJ, everyone knows him. Yeah. Zanki. Yeah, as Gulachi. a promoter and also as a producer, man. Gulachi yeah. with my Brazilian Gulachi. accent. Gulachi. Gulachi. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like gelato, no? Gelato, yeah. Gulati. As Gulati, probably? Yeah. Gulati, yeah. Anyway, Zanki, big shout to you. Yeah. He's doing a great job as a promoter as well, man. Yeah. Sick parties and With his gigs, uh, Boots and Cats, yeah. him and, and Simon. Simon. Really yeah. good gigs. I went to the Stan Kolev one at the Civic 2. was massive, was great gig. Everyone was yeah. vibing. Stankolev played a three-hour set in. And he had to be there because he played a, his own he, remix of his, our boy 91. Oh, yes. Which is coming out on his brow from oh, Dinox. Such a good EP. So proud of him for yes. achieving this. Big achievement. And good thing that, uh, funny fact, um, Davi's been producing for only a year. Yeah, I Or think so. so. I, yeah, his first release yeah. came out in April last year. Which yes. was the remix for for your track Blood on Forty Three? Correct. Yeah, it's been one year, and this one guy year, yeah. already signed in a respect respected label. Like yeah. Sprout is a is Dinox a respected label, label yeah. you know, in, in in the genre as well. And also with a remix from Stan Kolev, which is the number yeah. one progressive house selling record producer. He's a machine, and uh, for twenty four months, Stan Kolev actually is a machine. Such a machine. You you made a few questions for him like oh was uh, it no, was no, Davi, Davi well. yeah Davi went on he, dinner with him yes and then he um, actually uh, spoke to him a lot yeah, yeah we, we we're probably gonna make a whole episode about this about it yeah it's better um, yeah I, I, I could say a few questions but I'll, I'll ask uh, yeah Davi we'll, to we'll come ask him here. the next and time he yeah says with it him because it's better he yeah. tells yeah. all yes. about he said they went all in about like meditation and wellness and uh, he said. Stunt collab is really into they this really kind of stuff. Yeah, they got connected, connected on the side as yeah. well. But I think since we are both in here, um, I wanted to ask you a question because recently our boy Houghton here signed uh, his first EP oh, you're right. on Knee Deep in Sound, which we spoke about it earlier. Yes. Um, and it was actually a really big goal for both of us since we started the label. Yeah, That's like, true. Because it's... This is a label and a hot since as well as an artist has been both such inspiration for us in terms of branding, how they do the releases, the music policy, the style of the tunes and uh, pretty much the vibe is similar to what we, uh, we want to get, we want to do. And for you to sign there was a big achievement for both of us. And uh, tell us a bit how it happened when they were like, yeah, how well, was your EP signing on it? Yeah, I... I have many favorite labels uh, because uh, you know we listen to a lot of music, but Knee Deep has something I don't know. I don't know. It was just something that the, about the the structure of the music and their vibe, the music, the artworks, everything. I got, I got really connected with the label. That's why I I it was like a big, big kind of big dream for me to sign there uh-huh. because everyone was they were signing there. I liked the, their music, so I was like, I want to be part of this family, you know, this record label. Yeah. And I played on on the Deep in Sound in Sydney when uh, Daily Hot Scenes 82 came to Australia, which has a funny story behind as well. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fuck yeah, right! So many stories, man. Anyway, um, you want to tell us this story, when the- No, it's, I can't get really embarrassed about it. Why? No, no, no. It's, yeah, it was fine. I can tell. I can tell. After, well, I, I'll start then. I'll start and you finish. Because what happened it's was a different subject, though. Yeah, but it's still like I can I can say about the EP if you want to. All right, and then talk I, about the EP first, and I'll come I, back with the story. All right, um, it, it was I, I just um, the first tracks I, tr- I, I the demos I worked I I that I tried to to sign, 
I didn't send to anyone or even to him. I play on the gig on a dipping sound after party. Yeah, good bar. I oh, played yeah. the track, one, uh-huh. one of the tracks I wanted to sign, uh-huh. just before he got him to play. Kind of, stra- you know, it's a, it yeah. was actually a strategy so he could listen the track and he feel like go, go impressed or something. Yeah. Would get impressed. Uh, he would sign or even ask me, "Oh, what is this track?" But he didn't give a fuck about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just got it. Put another track yeah. on top. Like it yeah, is a fuck starts girl. pumping. But that wasn't on the EP. Yeah, it wasn't the one he signed. No, it wasn't. Yeah. So, but it was the f- my first try. And then yeah. um, I spoke to him after you know he sat on the after party and he goes, "Oh yeah, send me." You know, he gave my his contacts and then he goes, "Oh, when you have something ready, just send me over." So yeah, cool. So it took like five months. Do I feel myself ready to do it? But yeah. I was feeling like, fuck, should I send before? Or I lost, was a bit worried about losing timing. Uh-huh. But man, he's got, this guy's, you know, like hot scenes, he's traveling the whole world. So yeah, it wasn't a, actually a bad thing. Yeah, I sent after five five months to track. We were about to sign the track on our label, on 42 label. Degrees Lay uh, yeah. Records. Which was actually, a, it would be good as well. Yeah, it would be but good too. But then you suddenly you decided yeah. to send, and then I sent, and then he just go, he just said, "Well, I'm gonna, I like the tracks, I, lo- I love both of them. I'm gonna play it, and um, I'll see the crowd I'll and the reaction, yeah. and I'll let you know." And then uh, the day after, he just said, "Well, that that's let's sign," and that's that was the it. EP. That was it. It sounds what a dream. Sounds man, man. really simple, but to I get, have to say, yeah. the moment you message me and you send me the screenshot of the email. I started screaming and it was like eleven <laughs> thirty midnight yeah, or funny. something. It was was yeah. late. It was the best. I started screaming out of my ever. window like yes, because we worked so hard on the music yeah. and, and it's hard to some even if is the, the music is ready or good. Sometimes it's not even the taste of the person. It doesn't mean it's actually exactly shit yeah on. yeah. But sometimes it's That's just a good thing to keep in mind as yeah. well. Yeah, because sometimes about the taste is not. But anyway, I worked. We worked. We I worked hard to get to a point to get a track, a good record signed uh-huh. and a good label, and it worked. So I sent. So if you want to send to any label you want, but just make sure you have it's a quality to awareness to yeah. see to listen and say, well, this is good or this is it has potential. Because sometimes people just think they are, you know, they have a good track or good, you know, EP whatever. It's actually not. Yeah, yeah. So you have to be aware with your own quality, you know, before exactly. You, you need but to also know, not yeah. too paranoid to yeah. never send. Exactly. So exactly. It's, it's like That's a very important too, there's, yeah. a, there's a very fine yeah. line between these two, right? Yeah. Should I send it or should yeah. I? Oh, the light came out. Oh yeah. Uh, should I send it or just should I get better? Exactly. Yeah. But then I uh, just I don't know just. I think that the way you just compare yourself to the artists you already like, you know? Yeah, I reckon uh, this is a big mistake as well. Um, A lot of producers do, um, they send some tracks that they just finished the first track and they want to get signed on a big label. That's a big mistake. You're going to burn your your opportunities. You got to be real with yourself as well. If you have just one track, just chill, cool. Yeah, wait. No, just make more Exercise more, more, yeah. yeah. It's the same if you have one first gig, right? And then you just say, oh, I want to play on main stage. And yeah. then you're not fucking ready for main yeah, stage. Exactly, play yeah. 200 gigs yeah. until you get ready yeah. for warm-up set, for a long set, for yeah. a headline set, whatever. But it takes time to get experienced. Yeah. But send more than one track. I wanted, talking about track. signing tracks, um, I wanted to get back to that story that we commented before about um, the day that Hudson's was here. <laughs> Because I really think that's a funny story, and um, because we've been we we spoke about this, we've been wanting to sign and be more involved with Hot Sins and E Deep, and you already you actually played a few times. <laughs> we are gonna talk about oh it one day. <laughs> okay. So he played a few times uh, for Division for bringing E Deep in Sydney, and this last time, apparently Hot Sins was hanging around Bondi. And I just um, I saw I saw him posting. He was on Bondi icebergs having lunch with Heidi. Yes. Um, and I saw the post one minute ago. I sent it straight away to Wendell. <laughs> Wendell, run there <laughs> and introduce try. yourself. Just try to just engage try some to conversation. Engage. You know, because that's the thing. I was 
what did you oh. do when I said that? When the <laughs> so fuck no. Tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> I was like daily and Heidi having lunch or something, and then uh, Ronnie said, "Just go there." I was like, "Fuck, I don't know them like personally." <sighs> just a bit. I was just a bit like sh- not shy, but like skeptical. Like fucking hell, I'm not gonna be like in- intrusive. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Just, but anyway, I, I I did. I went there, <laughs> <laughs> and I went there. It was so awkward, but anyway, I did it, and I look, I did it. Yeah, they were having a nice, nice lunch, you know, pre gig. Yeah, and there comes me, the imposter, the uh, local DJ. Yeah, yeah, I just went there. So and I just said, "Oh, hey, sorry to you know interrupt you guys. You guys don't know me, but." You're gonna know me in five minutes because yeah. I'm introducing myself right now. They start yeah. laughing and said, No, I'm just gonna play on your event in the yeah. GP cell. It will be tonight. Um, and uh, but yeah, you don't know me yet, but that, that's me. That's no, not tonight, the day after, the yeah. day after, yeah. right? Yeah, and then that's me. It's whole thing. I'm, I'm opening, you know, the, the event. And he goes, Yeah, man, just have a seat. It's like, Oh, yeah, the first step is done. Wow, and then, and in the end, it like, worked, it worked. <laughs> and then in the end uh, of the lunch, he 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 paid the whole fucking bill, yeah, <laughs> of <was> course. <laughs> Why not? I was yeah. like, Fuck No, you don't have to. He goes, No, no, no. We were fine, treat, yeah. but then we had like two hour conversation. Yeah, that's good. And Heidi, Heidi talks it's a lot. It's good to connect on that level. Yeah, <laughs> she's nice as fuck, but she talks a lot. Yeah. She knows that, right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and then we go, we go, you gonna go friends. Nice. You know, you know what? Yeah, yeah. That was. And it's good to because always on the gig when you play before someone, it's always like that weird like, oh, I have to go and you have yeah. to get in, so you don't really get much to talk. Yeah. So you know, I wasn't I wasn't that awkward dude pushy guy i yeah. just went there like explaining that was actually awkward already uh-huh that i had knowledge that I w- what i was doing was awkward and yeah they said yeah. that's fine to be awkward that's fine i mean you you broke you broke the ice you came exactly. here you and know? i came said look you guys don't know me so but yeah. you know me in you five will, minutes soon don't yeah. worry we're gonna be friends <laughs> forever but bff yeah. that's it and the rest but there's is also a, dif- a detail that you might be shy to tell, but I'm going to No, gonna I completely you. forgot. Yeah, because yeah, I couldn't get in. Yeah, that restaurant it's is a bit particular and like... We're not going to mention the name. Yeah, you know. Oh, we already did. No, but anyway, you, 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 need, you need to be a member if yes. you're not from overseas. Yes. You need to be a member of it if you're local to get in and to have dinner there. And I was like... And when there oh. wasn't obviously a dinner, uh, a member... I wasn't a member, but because I was living in the area, uh-huh. I was a local, right? Uh-huh. They didn't want to get me in. It was like, why? Because you're a local. I'm just, we just get, get You need here. to be a member, yeah. You need to be a member. So I'm not going to get this fucking thing. Uh, I'm, I came <laughs> here. Exactly. Hot since is right over there. I'm not. <laughs> so I went on the, you know, out fr- from the outside through the kitchen and I could get in. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> That's brilliant, man. I'm so proud of you. They couldn't... Well, yeah, it was a bit naughty, but they couldn't get me in. I said, I'm going to get in. I'm going to have dinner. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm lunch. just telling you I'm getting in. And then after two hours, oh, you, well, how come you got in here? I said, oh, well, good boy. Uh, uh, it was, like, was yeah. a, good, a good lunch. Yeah. I'm a member now, yeah, guys. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I never came back. I love this story, man. Like so be probably a Brazilian, you know. Resilience, kind of tired, you know. Resilience. That's resilience, not Brazilian. Yes. Resilience. It's true. I just I just wanted to meet the guy, man. Come yeah. on. Just let me yeah. in. Yeah. Come on. Didn't want to. I got oh, so man. pissed. It's so uh, it's so weird. It's like, true. I why? forgot the main point of the fucking story. Yeah. <laughs> but glad you lo- glad you remember. What a story. Loved it. It was a lovely gig as well at the uh, right. the warehouse collective by division, which is now um gone. They um they closed They're the, not the venue. Doing yeah. there anymore. But uh, it was really good, hot scenes, uh Houghton and Nick back to back. Yes. Heidi. Big shots, um, Nick. Who else? Uh, Carrie Chandler. Carrie Chandler and um, um, there was who was who played after oh, you? There I was f- I forgot his name. He's a he was drinking wine. I the remember Detroit that. Detroit oh. DJF. I I forgot his Tackle, name. He's Come played Tackle and House. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I forgot it too. Blank me. Yeah, I don't know. Jesus why, but Christ, anyway. he's a legend, man. I mean, yeah. he's just been there since the beginning. Oh my God. Forgot. What happened? I don't what know. the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Fuck. It was a lovely gig. Then there was uh, the after party where you handled... Oh, the, we remember. Yeah. Uh, you, t- you, you handled the decks to Hot Scenes. 
in the after party. Yeah, it was amazing. It was, amazing. It was, it was great gig. Anyway, thanks um, Scott for for the booking. Scott, thank you, Scott. It's after been us, such a big. Always such believed in 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 my music. Always believed amazing. it. Yeah, thanks, it's been giving us many opportunities. Yes, yes. Um, we've been working together for a while now, so it's really really good to have this partnership with him. Uh, by the way, it's coming up uh, this weekend on Saturday. Days like this. Not sure if I'll be if I'll manage Ooh. to post this video before it, but hopefully. Hopefully. So, Exactly. This Saturday, days like this festival is gonna be massive. Yes. Our boy Holton is gonna play um, main stage uh, before Anna, fellow Brazilian, so um, weapon of a Brazilian. And um, there is Kieran. We finish. We're finishing Kieran. We'll be. We'll be out soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's gonna be a massive festival with uh, Maceo Plax, Nina Kravis, Richie Holton, um, uh, Black, Black Madonna. Madonna. A bunch of amazing DJs uh, inside. Wow. I heard the good, pr massive production on the stage as well. Custom yeah, built. It's been a kind of secret. Yeah, the, secret. But but dance. But the, to honestly, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. amazing. The stage designs are yeah. looking incredible. Scott, Scott sent me private messages showing the, you know the, the plans, uh, the plans, yeah, the and the stages, yeah. and then it was just like wow, mind blowing, mind, mind blowing. blowing. Scott amazing. is always. He always has such good taste. Yeah. Yes. On yes. decorations, production, um, everything, design. I love the work the guys do. Um, but yeah, days like this um, is happening. Saturday. First time you're playing. It's gonna be, I think, the fourth edition or something. Yeah. Third. Th no, third or fourth. I, I'm not sure, yeah. but yeah, first one. Houghton's playing. Nick, uh, other locals playing Nick and Manu. And Litmus. Uh, Litmus, Rachel May, I think, as well. No. Nah. No? Nah? It's just Litmus. Litmus. Main, Manu and... Um, oh, yeah, she was. She uh, was, I, I think. Yeah, she, she was. was yeah, I, but, I thought... Okay. Uh, maybe not, but she always plays She always plays for, for the vision, yeah. 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 Oh. That's why the confusion. Yeah. But, but anyway, it's going to be a lovely day and night. Make sure you guys, if you need tickets, yeah. hit us up. We have some discounted hard copy. What else you can put in the table? The dice thing? The dice um, subject? Yeah. yeah. Um, the last subject? Yeah, to finalize. I mean, because uh, just we're going to bring a lot of stuff here. We're going to bring, gonna yeah, speak there's going to be many, many episodes coming. Many, many things to talk about our industry. But maybe, yeah, to close, because the guys, this, this studio here is uh, kindly provided by the guys at Dice, yep. which, has, which is our brand new um, ticketing platform partner for Which our we events uh, have our next events our next them. event yeah it's coming through them yeah uh, you can buy your ticket with your face uh, the user interface of the app is so yes, good correct they have a good um, algorithm working constantly to show you the events on your discovery tab on your on the app so and it's not you can just follow people you yeah. can see what they're attending um, you can follow promoters you can save links and it's not because we just got you know par partners, but uh, it's just amazing. It's a really user, good app. It, yeah, in interface experience as well because yeah. it's just not like a technique thing. It's just experience actually in an app because you can it follow is. free events, free concerts, free shows. Yeah, and um, it's just amazing because it's a new thing. It reminds me a lot of Spotify in terms of like interface, e interface, yeah. which is great because Spotify is great. Oh, I, sp I love Spotify's yeah, interface. It, and uh, it's just a new thing that I, I think is doing, it's coming it's doing soon waves already in Europe. Yeah, oh, it's it's, it's massive, massive in, in Europe. Europe. Yeah, it's, But now it's, it's coming to Sydney. So It's coming to Australia, yeah. We're yeah. going to be one of the first partners, with us, uh, Good Bar, I think. Some yeah, other, a few events already Some other it, events, Because yeah. they see the potential of it. Yeah, they come in slowly, but they still I think they still haven't an officially announced the yeah. Australia partners um well anyway yeah dice.fm exactly download the app have a look have a play around buy the ticket for our event <laughs> yeah exactly because it's gonna be a nice event it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna be, be a nice fun. event it's gonna yeah. be good music you know good people good family people, vibes family vibes family reunion which actually is called 43 degrees reunion which is yeah. the gathering of the family Correct. So yeah, shout out to Dice, to Kieran uh, at the Commons Studio as well. Thank you guys, and we really hope you enjoyed the very first 
trouble episode, <laughs> camera <laughs> stopping and shit. That's not gonna be the last one. So definitely not. Don't worry about the first one. Yeah. Get yourself excited for it. With, we have with the plans. first one. Yeah. And curious to know about what you're gonna bring to the table on the next ones. Yes. Because send us messages. Yeah. To talk about and give you suggestions as yeah, well, like about subjects yeah. and stuff. You know, if you want to make sure you comment, talk about something. Yeah. Comment, like, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, subscribe to our SoundCloud, subscribe to the podcast on Spotify, on Apple, iTunes, everywhere. We are going to try to be everywhere, you know? It's always good to give options. Some exactly. people like one app, some people like another one. Yeah, I, I personally love Spotify. listening only. Only, Because when yeah. I'm writing, that's yeah. when I listen podcasts. Oh, yeah, that's good. I, I write, yeah. write kind of a lot. Yeah. But watching is good too. So you have options good, for yeah. both, for everything yeah. you want. Yeah, just get into it. Yeah, and comment, like, comment, like, let us know suggestions if you who you who you want us to bring. Yeah, because we're gonna That's have it. many. Oh, we many we're gonna episodes. have. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna improve a lot. And this is the first one. as a conductor, as a host, is gonna you know be here all the time. I'm gonna. Be I won't here, be here yeah. all the time. Yeah, but sometimes you're most a busy of, man. Or, or most of the times, yeah. So it's gonna be more interesting with different, not more interesting. It's already interesting, but with different, not just about music related, but we can talk. We're gonna talk about you know, drugs, photography, mental health, mental photography, health, everything yeah. that relates to our industry. So even this light remembrance, uh, with the scene, we're gonna talk. Like yeah, design, and video that's, that's making. That's why we have a podcast yes. now to talk about everything. Yeah, that's it. In a positive way, though. In a positive way, we're gonna try to even bring the we, best. Even if of we it. can talk about negative stuff, which is fine, but in a way oh, that we can be a posi world, positive yeah. in it. That's our goal. We we our always goal, try to exactly. be as much positive and hopeful even if the situation is shit yeah. which is fine to be yeah which happens, happens yeah which happens exactly with everyone you know <laughs> exactly but let's shit try happens. to find a solution in it we always yes. try to find a yes. solution yes. exactly all right all right that's a wrap i hope the camera didn't stop now otherwise <laughs> we're gonna have to start again <laughs> and then you're gonna do a lot of a lot of different we're gonna subjects. talk about different stuff <laughs> But I hope you really like this. Um, this was 43 Cast broadcasting, recorded in Sydney. In Sydney, by your boys Rayoni Lima and, and Hote, Hote, Papa Hote, Papa Hote from 43 Degrees Crew. That's, That's it. it. See, See you later. later. <laughs> Bye.